So Zach, I want to talk to you about Terra Luna, but specifically about Binance. We've had a lot of movement with Binance related to the Luna Classic community. Before I do that, I'm actually going to give you a good intro this time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Zach Humphries. He is the <laughs> best crypto guy on YouTube. You should give the man a follow. Welcome me, <laughs> man, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome. Nice, nice. Thank you. That was... But excuse, oh, me while I, excuse me while I go throw my mouth a little bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's not an Austin and Zach video. We don't make fun of each other a little bit. We got to have fun. We'll with have this. fun, man. Yeah. Okay. So, man, um, back to the serious thing. Uh, I, we're, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you just, it's dealer's choice, man. I'm going to let you start with, specifically with Binance and kind of the, you know, the impact that Binance has had and is, is having on the Terra Luna Classic uh, community. Or yeah, community. yeah. So, this past week has been huge. Everybody's been waiting to get that report. We got it on Monday, uh, which would have been October 3rd, depending on when you're watching this. That was our first uh, date with Binance. Every Monday that follows, by the way, we'll get another report on how much was burned in that, in that period, in that week period. Uh, so the expectations were around 5 to $10 billion, at least from all the information I was looking you know, before we got the official info. And it came in about $5.5 billion, right, Austin? Five, yeah, yeah, five point six, yeah. And in doing so, Binance quickly became the top burning entity uh, for Luna Classic. It, it passed up the one point two percent burn tax, which that's been going well as well. Uh, that's over three billion. No, it's, up, it's up north of four now, four and it's maybe even close right. to five as a recording. Yeah. Okay. And overall, I think it's what about fourteen, something like that, yeah. since uh, yeah. since it started burning, something like that. So it's going well. It's going to be a slow grow, and and they said that you know. Uh, again, that supply is huge. It started at yeah. 6.9 trillion. So it's going to take some time, but they're slowly but surely making a dent in it. And here's the thing I like, in addition to the Binance stuff, because everyone was focused on that and there was a nice compromise there uh, with what CZ did. And I think that's awesome. I think for the most part, people are happy about that. But in addition to the burns, which are important, I love the other two stories we got with Terra Classic recently. And those are the two gaming companies uh, Lithios and Meta Rivals, and all of a sudden now there's going to be some new utility on the Terra Luna blockchain, and that's right. what I've been calling for because you want longevity, you want investors to come in and stick around. These are types of catalysts that will get people excited to stay for the long term. Yeah, and 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 both of those gaming initiatives that you're referencing uh, obviously know what the community's focused on and the and the hot button and and I mean I have to give them credit they get it have come in and said we are gonna you know we are gonna initiate some burn scenarios that are gonna help like uh, Meta Rival specifically talking about like um, what was it burn to mint um, you know or meant yeah, to burn play to, yeah, play, yeah. To, and play to burn instead of play to earn I think there's some really interesting new dynamics they're creating there and it, you know but i think the the binance thing a final note here just kind of to land the plane if you will and kind of wrap up the video i think the but what to me everything you just said i agree with the binance thing but the, what to me what the binance thing did well number one i don't most people don't really know zach and you and i talk about this all the time is that binance alone accounts for hundreds of millions of dollars depending upon the daily volume of 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 terra luna classic uh, yeah. of daily of daily trading volume binance accounts for a, an inordinate amount of it right and, and they own or hold rather i mean i guess you could say own a, a ridiculous amount of the supply yes they do and yeah. so I, I think it was it was good to see them leaning in you know and and we're and working the compromise but i think the final point where i was going with that is that is that binance being the largest exchange in the world period i think that sends a very very good message to the other exchanges and, you know, the community's out there saying, hey, look, you you know, look, we got Binance, we got Mexi, you know, I think XYZ exchange, yep. you need to get on board with this. And so I think it set a really good precedent. So that's kind of what I want to do uh, to, to bring to, up there. I agree. I agree. And 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 to your point, it's 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 good marketing. It's good publicity oh, for some of these smaller exchanges. Why not? Why not? Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. But, I, I mean, let's call it what it is, right? The game like Meta Rivals and some of these guys. Mm -hmm. Why not jump on, you know, jump on the bandwagon and in a positive way and, and expand your footprint, your ecosystem and and get a whole brand new, you know, group of people to come in. So it's good. It's good stuff. 
All right. So with that said, if you're interested in learning more about Clear Cryptos, there's links in the description. They've got an Instagram they just launched. So go check that out. Um, get involved with their Twitter page, 20,000 plus followers. A lot of really great information flowing through their Discord. Good stuff. Everything's down below. Go check them out. Definitely give a subscribe and a like on this video and we'll see you. See you guys.